glitchy this time. Okay, so my first step is I'm going to open the two photographs that I want to merge together. So I have my puddle outside Twinfield, and I have myself kayaking at Lake Elmore. So I'm in the expert mode. I have brought in two photos. That's all I have. And then I'm going to switch to guided. And then um, usually I think it starts out here on basics. And I want to use photo merge. So I come over here to the right and I click that. So and then back over here to the left, photo merge compose. Um, so I want to take the kayak out of this picture. So I drag the kayak right into here. I'm going to get my quick select tool and I'm going to select the kayak and the paddle and um, the reflection of the paddle. Um, I can make this bigger if I want to look at it and make a better selection. Um, there's other things you can do to fix up your selection, but I always think if I can, it's better. Why not just do it now? Push down Option to get that minus and to subtract from your selection and just, um, just leave it plain to add to your selection. I guess I have to make it. Oh, there's a little more. Oh no, something terrible just happened. Yep. Okay. Oops, forgot to push down on the option key. Get a minus. Get rid of all that junk out there. Okay. So now I don't have to do anything else except say next. And it puts it right in there and it automatically switches to the move tool so if I wanted to move it it could but honestly I uh, took this picture of my kayak with something like this in mind so that's pretty much how I wanted it um, yep there's all this stuff you can do but I don't know I didn't find it very helpful so I'm just gonna say next and then I decide where I want to start edit, go back to editing it in and I'm going to say I want to do that in expert so now I'm back here and you can see that each of my um, the two things I had the background and the cutout of the uh, kayak are actually on different layers so if I want to change something about this layer um, for instance I don't know why maybe I want to make this um, who knows what I want to do. Maybe I want to make it even stronger or maybe I want to make it darker or lighter or whatever I want to do with any filters or anything I can do that here. Um, if I decide I want to um, anyway I can mess with any filters that I want um, and change things that that was not a good example. Let me just do a blur So I could blur it out if I wanted Or a little blurry or I could just select part of it suppose I just wanted to blur the handle or the paddle part I could do that, but whatever now I'm, I'm good um, What you can do also if you want is sometimes it's very confusing about which part of it you're working on so you can just push down your shift key and click this one too, that layer, and go up to layer and say merge layers. So that is how you can add something pretty simply. Okay, so I already um, used photo merge to combine these two photographs and now I want to combine a third photograph with that. So I just wanted to show you that using photo merge you can combine as many photographs as you want but I think it's a little easier to do it if you do it one photograph at a time. Well, or combining two photographs at a time. So I saved my first one there and now I am dragging in my second one. And this is a little small, so I'm just gonna make it bigger so I can see what I'm doing better. I'm gonna get my quick select tool and I'm just gonna select her kayak. And a few other things I don't really want. 
Okay, so clearly I need a smaller thingy here. So then remember, you just push down Option, and um, it it start it erases the part of the um, selection that you didn't really mean to have. And if you just let up on Option, you can get back whatever you missed. Somehow I got rid of some of it over here. So you can do other things later if this isn't quite what you want, but I really do think it's better just to get it as much like you want it as you can. Okay, so now that looks good enough. I'm going to say next. And there she is. She's tiny and she's about to get whacked by my paddle, so it defaults to this move tool. So I'm just going to move her further away, and I can also make her bigger if I want. So she's not quite as far away, but look at that. It goes right on top there, so you don't really want that. Although, there's things you can do about that too. Um, so let's just say I like her there, although I might like her head better a little bit above the water. Um, yeah, she's probably too big for back that far. Okay, so I'm going to say I like that. And I'm going to say down here next. And I already talked about that I don't love this thing here, these sliders. So I'll say next. And now it asks me where I want to go and um, edit. And I'll say here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy. I'm going to duplicate that layer. But I want to work on her layer first. So I need to make her bigger so I can see it better. Um, so you can see the water. It was, you know, really blue water in the other picture. So here it's not so blue. So I'm going to select the water. Shoot, push down, option, get a minus sign. Okay, so, um, shoot. Hope you realize after watching me that it's okay to make mistakes and you don't even have to be so polite about it if you're by yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Enhance. I'm going to go to Adjust Color. I'm going to adjust the hue and the saturation. I'm going to turn the saturation down some. Although, you know, wait just a minute. Let me see something. Yeah, so why doesn't that do anything? Do not get it. Okay, well, since I don't know why it's not doing anything, I'm just going to go ahead and merge these two layers. So I use my um, shift key, and then I go to layers, merge layers. And I don't know why exactly, but I seem to have a lot more success when they're combined. And now I'm going to adjust the color. I'm going to adjust the hue and the saturation, and now it's going to do it. Let's make it a little lighter and still seems a little on the purple side. But you know, I could do this too if I really understood how it worked. Okay. So I'm just going to deselect it so I can take a look at it. And anyway, you can do all the stuff you might normally do to this. Um, I could select her, the whole thing now, and or I could select, you know, I could do all kinds of stuff. I could make all these guys blurry. I could just do anything I wanted. Um, it just takes time. I can use my clone stamp, and I can turn it down to like 50%. And then I can um, just clone over the edge of this water a little more so it doesn't look so sharp. 
all along my edges. The, you know, the thing I think I've said before, I can't remember really, but the thing that's hard about the clone stamp is that you have to be looking at where the little plus sign is that's trailing along behind me because that's where you're making your selection. And then where the circle is is where you're adding that selection in. So it just took me a long time to be able to kind of be in charge of this myself and not have it get away from me. So here's a place that I didn't really get and here I need it turned up all the way to get rid of that. And, you know, I really don't like that, so I'm going to get rid of that. So I just select a place a little behind that black. I guess it's part of her, um, her life vest. So I'm just going to select a place right behind that and then just try to follow along the same edge. And... Oops. Okay, so that's how you can do, oh, wait a minute. That's how you can combine more than one thing in Photo Merge, but I think it's easier to do it if you do it just two photographs at a time. Um, so have fun, because it is fun.